All right, I wanted to ask you a question. Like, you've often, uh, you know, for the, all this literature and English stuff, I've I've heard way, way too much about Margaret Atwood for the past oh, uh, month. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. So right? I, wanted, Me too. I wanted to get your opinion on, uh, on uh, what you think of her. Well, I think I think she's a chic feminista. I yeah. think she's off her right. rocker. I think she should shut the hell up and <laughs> exactly. uh, get married. I'm surprised. Coming from uh, a liberal. <laughs> coming from a liberal, this is interesting. She's, like, it's so... Her, she's ridiculous. Her books are unbearably <laughs> depressing to the point where you just cannot read them. And they're Not so overwritten and they're so, so overwrought and yeah. it's just unbearable. It's just so it's like it's it's chauvinistic. It's it's nothing else. I mean, there's there's e- there's okay. There's equal treatment, and then there's feminism, like feminism, extreme feminism, like as in females should like dominate the human race. I can't believe Michael's saying this right now. No, but I hate that. That's that's why I hate her. She is not equal. Like she's not an equalist. She's like a chauvinist. Like it's, it's yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> she is. It's overwhelming. I don't know how a liberal can actually come to like her. I still I think can't she's... believe. I can't believe that's happening. I can't believe you're saying this. But no. good, you know. Uh, good on him. She's terrible. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I haven't really read much uh, on her. You know, tell me about. I know she's a feminist, but tell me more. What what, what is she? Uh, it's a lot of you know, kind of well, I mean, fiction. A, a lot of a lot of her, yeah, no, a, a lot of her um, uh, writing is sort of depicts male superiority sup- superiority and like these scenarios where men are just you know dominating figures or they're they're made out to be like these really disgusting or um, overbearing tyrannical kind of people it's scary just to think of and i mean yeah. how can you depict someone by the way message from tanisha this is terrible oh she's getting her uh tonsils right. wisdom teeth wisdom, oh, wisdom teeth. teeth wisdom teeth taken out wait is, he, is she watching here. or that's no, why she's well, we're not live at watching all. we're not uh <laughs> she can't we're, sorry. we're not on the she's Ustream. listening we're not on the Ustream today listening uh so she, is she done with it already I don't know. She says uh, this is terrible. So I guess uh, she's not in the. <laughs> she's the probably chair. not in the she's operating. She's in the chair getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm talking to you right now. Max says, "I hate you." Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on right now? Cell phone ringing? Yeah. Where? Josh. Josh's cell phone is ringing. Josh has a cell phone. Now, Josh, <laughs> if they want to come Josh on. Josh talks yeah. to people. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meantime, you know, I've never really <laughs> talked to you about this, Michael. What do you guys do in uh, in band? When, in band? when you have to, you know, rush all the way down to music and do whatever you yeah. do, what what goes on? You want to talk about that now? Yeah, right now. Oh, uh, we go in there, uh, <laughs> start with whatever warm-up, play a scale or whatever. It's really low-key. Um, no, not the best music program uh, there is around. But uh, we go there. We, we At the beginning of the year, we get a few pieces, start writing, uh, start reading the music. What do we uh just keep going? How easily do you get distracted? I know, my gosh. You'll start what talking. What do we do there? So we get in there. You start talking, <laughs> and all of a sudden you'll I think there's water rushing around <laughs> my head, or oh, what's on the screen over there? Or like you'll just like ah ah. By the way, but we get uh, we anyway we get in there. Uh, we get a few pieces, and I mean we we just work on a few pieces uh for the whole year round. I mean it's, it's no big deal. It's just your typical band class, I suppose. So what are you doing? Uh, didn't you get some sort of huge deal? Like some 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 huge thing happened to you, and now you yeah. are in uh, a, a big deal. Uh, yeah, I um, it's the worst storyteller ever. I'm <laughs> I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, never uh, ask you a question <laughs> ever again in my lifetime. So anyway, yeah, uh, last year in in April, I uh, sent an audition tape into the Ontario Honor Band, and I got into that. Um, Keep right. going. Uh, no water is rushing around your head. It's fine. No, there's a Campbell rushing around my head. Oh, <laughs> in any case, <laughs> Campbell soup. Uh, <laughs> Somebody just unplugged. There's the that, and then uh, also this year I auditioned for the Toronto Youth Wind Orchestra, and uh, that was a very bad audition. I was very ill that day, but I still got in. Um, oh, okay. Despite well. my incompetence. Uh, and you and uh, you and Johan are going to India now. Check out our, our Facebook group. This is a random. Check out our Facebook group. Why? Because uh, Johan left the post on there. He's like, "Oh yeah, Mike, are you going to be on assignment from India when we go?" Oh yeah. I guess. Uh, By I guess the way, Facebook be. group update, Josh. Facebook group, ninety-one members. Ninety-one. Very good. Yeah. The parting part. Get it ready, Mike. Put it yeah, up. Yeah. The parting part. One of the best songs ever by Boxed In. Peter Mahoney, the man. We'll get him in sometime in the next few weeks. Here it is. The parting part. It's just, it's just a perfect sound. 
musical tastiness, as Peter would say. Back in a minute, TJ and Mike.